much. All right, so what does this all mean? Let's put this into perspective. Nurshin Gune is a professor at Bahçeşehir uh, Cyprus University and joins us now from, from Istanbul. Uh, Nurshin, thank you very much for joining us here on the News Hour. Now, uh, the Americans are here with the intention, or rather the hope, of getting the Turkish side to sort of agree to a ceasefire, but President Erdogan has clearly said that they will continue with the military operation, as Sarah has said, until they reach their objectives. It doesn't seem like that, that there is a lot of common ground here. Uh, which is true. Uh, it has been stated uh, by uh, Erdogan, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, Turkish uh, president, that uh, this operation, despite uh, all pressures, either coming from U.S. side or Western allies or others uh, in the international community, until the two objectives that has been uh, mentioned uh, at the beginning of your uh, program, uh, Turkey is determined to continue uh, this uh, Operation Peace Spring until uh, this PYD, the offshot of PKK terrorist organization existence in our borders in the northern part of uh, Syria has ended. So uh, this is the main uh, mission of this operation. And it, as it has been uh, stated last night by uh, Erdogan, our president, Unless uh, we VYT uh, uh, forces has decided to uh, uh, leave out of this area uh, with leaving their uh, 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 arms uh, together, uh, then uh, ceasefires uh, uh, that uh, can happen, that can uh, be available. So this is a very simple equation, actually. Unless uh, this has not been achieved, uh, Turkey, despite to the sanctions that has been issued by the U.S. government, and despite to the, this high-level visit that is going on today, uh, okay. is uh, going to uh, continue uh, with this operation. You say it's simple, but the other side of the equation is not so simple because, once again, we're seeing a very disorganized U.S. stance. President Trump says one thing. The national security agencies on the other side want another thing. The Russians are now involved in terms true. of brokering a deal between uh, the YPG and the regime. How is this going to affect what Turkey wants? And the real question is, can they actually achieve it? Well, uh, you are right. Uh, the diplomatic uh, stand of uh, many actors has involved. So the situation is very complex, especially, especially when U.S. has started to retreat uh, from the nord uh, northern uh, Syria with its, uh, some of its forces. And that is how this Operation uh, Peace Spring has started and how it, ha it is been advancing at the moment. So uh, this is a matter of uh, uh, diplomacy and give and take. And it depends on how you stand on the ground, actually. Um, uh, since Turkey is advancing, uh, is, as, as along with uh, abiding with international law, meaning uh, uh, with the uh, right of uh, self-defense, uh, that is how the operation is uh, going in accordance of law uh, wise. So Turkey will continue till the end, and uh, that is up to the other uh, powers, namely with the Russians as well as U.S. U.S. seems to uh, uh, decided to retreat uh, from the region, despite uh, this is the uh, determination of uh, Trump's uh, mindset, uh, but others in the uh, U.S. Uh, administration seems to be dragging their feet, but uh, 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 as long as uh, the situation continues, Turkey will stand where, it's, uh, where it wants to do, uh, and it, uh, as long as, uh, along with its objectives. So it's a matter of, as I said, uh, diplomacy uh, has uh, some uh, opportunities and risks involved. Uh, so the sides will uh, try to bargain out the best outcome. Uh, unless this can be achieved, uh, Turkey will continue with this operation. There is no way out. Yeah, okay. This is the Middle East, and this is the uh, situation on the ground. We didn't bring this situation by ourselves. All right, Professor Nushin Gune, thank you very much for joining us here on the News Hour.